Brock Bowers there available at 10. Are you pulling the trigger on Brock Bowers, the best tight end prospect that's come out in a while? All right, so I'll break this down for you. The answer to your question is yes. However, it also depends on which left tackles are still available on the board. Because if Joe Alt or Olu Fashan who's available at 10, I'm taking either or. Alt's not going to be there, I don't think. Fashanu may. I'll take Fashanu over Bowers because I think Fashanu is that quality of a left tackle prospect for the long term. And I just love the value that he'd give us at 10. Now, I'd also take the other three receivers over Brock Bowers if they're there. It's close with the Dunze and Bowers because I do value what Bowers brings as a tight end option, but I would probably take the three receivers and Alton Fashanu if they're available over Bowers. But if they're not available, which could be the case, I'm going Brock Bowers because like I was saying earlier on Twitter, I was tweeting it out, posting it on new stadium playing tight end in the NFL is one of the toughest things to do. Why you have to play inside and out. You have to be an offensive lineman at times, but you have to be a receiver also at other times. You have to be able to be physical with linebackers, but you have to be able to uh, uh, get D-backs off balance and be able to properly run your routes. It's a very difficult position to play, but this guy Bowers does it, and he does it very well.